Chris McQuay here, Unobtainium Welding. Did you just get your Everlast welder and you already have a buddy ask you to help with his exhaust project? Well, we're gonna show you a quick and dirty way to do a good job on some stainless with just a simple purge setup with some tin foil and an extra bottle of gas. So in order to get the gas inside here and have it stay, we need to make some purge plugs. Basically, a way to dam the gas in that we're gonna provide with this second bottle. So at one end, you're gonna have to roll it around your gas supply. Just undo it from the machine if you have another machine. We just need an end to get that gas in the tube. This will hold it in. And the other end, you just need to make a plug. So we've got this one almost done. Doesn't have to be fancy. Fold it up. Jam it in there. A little bit of leakage is okay. You want a tiny bit because as we're purging, we actually want to push the atmosphere out and fill it with argon. So some of the gas needs to get out as we're putting more in. So after you've cut your piece, whether that's in a saw or with a zip disc, you want to get it as flat as possible. You could use a file going across the face. You also want to deburr it by filing inside and out. And in a perfect world, you'd have something just to prep the outside lightly. Here we use just Scotch-Brite. So now we've got our purge caps in. You want something to help you make sure it's straight, piece of channel, angle iron, vise on the table, just to keep the alignment decent while you're purging until you get it tacked. Okay, so as that purge, we have our hose here hooked up to a second bottle where we can turn it on. And we want to stay down around under 10 CFH. We don't want too much. So now that we've got our purge on, we're gonna leave that for a few minutes, try and evacuate as much of that atmosphere as possible, fill it up with argon. But we can do some tacking while we're waiting. We want some purge in there for tacking, but it doesn't have to be perfect. So it's been purging for a little bit, so now we'll tack it. In a perfect world, we'll tack it autogenous, which means no filler. If the fit up is good enough and you can get it zapped together with no filler, it makes it easier because you can keep some pressure on with your hands. So as we're tacking, we just want to use the pedal to give us a puddle. Once they melt together, you get out of the pedal. Now you can see here, these pieces weren't perfectly flat. So now we have to deal with the fitment issues. So we're gonna to wanna to grab some filler to get the rest of these tacks in. So while you're tacking this up, if you have a small gap like this, you just have to watch your purge flow. You don't want it to be too high where the gas is actually trying to blow your main shielding gas away. And you'll notice that because the tacks will go either gray or dark blue, whereas the other ones will be silver or gold. So we got all our basic tacks on there. You want minimum of four. When the fit up isn't perfect like this, it's not quite flat, you're gonna to wanna to go more. And I'll show you that in order to improve this fitment a little bit, once we have it all secured, we could use the tacks to actually shrink the gap. So you can see we've tacked it all up here. I use the beauty of weld shrinkage to close up that gap to almost zero. So you can see we have about a 64th of an inch left there, which is fine, we can weld over that. So we're just gonna brush all the tacks now before we start our weld. The other thing I like to do is we've got tacks in there so we can pull this purge plug and just have a quick look to make sure our purge is actually working at this stage before we go and weld the whole thing and discover the purge isn't working. So if we look inside here, there's some color, but it's not completely sugared. So we have some argon in there, which is a lot better than none. Check and make sure that you don't need to seal up your tin foil a little bit better and we'll get ready to weld. So now that we've looked inside, we've got to plug it all back up and give it a few more minutes to purge out before we get back to welding because of course we've just let all that argon out into the atmosphere. So now that we've waited for our purge for a few minutes to make sure we're mostly argon in there, I have my 035308 filler to weld this 304 stainless tube and I have my gas lens on there and we're set at about 22 CFH. So when you're welding around a tube, we want to pay attention to trying to point to the center line of that tube. Nice and relaxed, roll your wrist as you come around. 
Make sure you wait for that post flow. So when you reinitiate that arc, start back into your last dip, then get the pedal and the puddle where you want it, start dipping and moving forward. Now that we've got this roughly half welded, we're gonna remove these purge plugs and then we'll weld the other half with no purge so we can show you the difference between the two. Okay, so now we're welding without purge inside. So you'll see inside we're glowing red and without the argon, we're gonna get what they call sugaring, basically chromium oxide. So another thing you'll notice is that the weld wants to be concave when the sugaring has happened. So you're gonna have to jam more filler rod in there if you're not using purge. Okay, so from the outside, it's not super obvious, but it does wanna be concave. And because it's oxidizing inside, because I'm getting full penetration, the puddle is wandering around a little bit too. So you're not gonna get as nice of an outside, a nice of a weld on the outside as you will with purge because of all the detrimental stuff that's happening inside the tube. So now that we're all done, let's cut this apart. We'll take a look at the inside and the purged and the non-purged, and we'll show you the difference. So here's our demonstration. You can see here, we have some purge. It's not perfect, it's not silver. So we had some leakage in our tin foil, but you can still definitely see the ripples and you can see some good colors in there, golds and pinks. On this side, we have very obvious oxidation and you can see because of the oxidation, that line between the two tubes stays behind. It doesn't actually fuse on the bottom side because the oxides don't want to join with each other. So this is what we don't want, no purge. This is some purge, not perfect, but way better than this. So that's how you get a decent quality purge with just some tin foil and an extra bottle of argon when you're doing your buddy's exhaust jobs. I'm Chris McQuay on Obtainium Welding. Weld mean, weld green.